Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. Yesterday, we thought about who we pray to. It's God, our Father. And today, we're going to think about one great thing we can pray for one another, and that is power to live for Jesus. Paul writes in Ephesians 3, verses 16 to 17, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. This is a wonderful Trinitarian prayer. Paul asks God the Father that we might be strengthened through his spirit so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith. So Paul is pleading with the Father that he would give his readers inward strength. He's asking a God who has everything necessary to do this out of his glorious riches. Now, at first, the prayer may seem confusing. In John 14, we're told that Christ, by his spirit, takes up residence that is lives in us when we become Christians. So why does Paul say that the purpose of his prayer is that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith? Isn't he already doing this? Well, yes, but the word to dwell is a strong one. It means take up permanent residence not merely to stay for a while. So what Paul's hope and prayer is this, that Christ will truly take up residence in the hearts of believers as they trust in him, that Christ will become at the centre of their lives. And the heart here does not just refer to our emotions, but to the whole centre of our personality, to our thoughts and our wills. So one writer, Don Carson, gives this helpful analogy. Imagine a couple buying together a house and they know that it needs lots of work. The roof leaks. The kitchen needs altering. There's a desperate need for redecorating. And over time, therefore, the couple set to work in their home. And so the roof stops leaking. The kitchen is remodelled and paint goes everywhere. And after many months, the husband comments to the wife that this house has been shaped to our needs and tastes and I feel really comfortable here. You see, when people take up long-term residence somewhere, their presence eventually characterises their dwelling, their home. When Christ, by spirit, takes up residence within us, he finds the moral equivalent of mouldy kitchens and leaking roofs because we are full of sin and mess. So we need to pray that God's spirit will change us. So we become a place where Jesus truly feels at home, that our hearts will truly reflect the character of Jesus. So this is a prayer for the power of the Holy Spirit to be at work in our lives, a power to make us holy, a power to help us to think, act and talk in ways that are pleasing to Christ. A power to enable us to be focused on Christ in all we do. So Paul wants us to be transformed so we live wholeheartedly for Jesus. And that is what we should pray for one another. That Christ would shape our lives and root out deep-seated sin. Let's pray that now. Heavenly Father, we pray that out of your glorious riches, you may strengthen each of us with power through your Spirit so that Christ may truly dwell in our hearts through faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Tuesday. See you tomorrow.